I've been using the Duna Leaky Trike exclusively as our stroller for about 6 months now. In this video I go over why we initially chose the trike, what I like about it, and the things that I wish it could actually do better. And I'll also explain to you the differences between the versions they have, the S3, the S5, and the Midnight Trike. The Duna Leaky Trike is advertised as a tricycle that grows with your child from 10 months to 3 years old. It's quite pricey with a starting price of $250 for the S3, $300 for the S5, and recently they released another version called Midnight for $350. We do own the Duna car seat and stroller, so I already have a good impression of the Duna brand in general. I'm very happy with the quality of it, which led me to start thinking about the leaky trike. I was actually very hesitant on making the purchase, as I wasn't sure my son really needed a $250 tricycle. If you look on Amazon, you can get highly rated trikes for $79. However, after some discussions with my wife, we came to the conclusion that we could potentially use the Duna trike as a stroller. At that time, we just purchased convertible car seats to replace the Duna car seat, so we were in need of a stroller. This makes the trike much more attractive when you look at it like this. Basically, the leaky trike would act as a stroller when my son is young, and then when he gets older on, it will be his tricycle. Duna does advertise the leaky trike as having 5 product stages, but in reality, it's really only about 3 different configurations. The parent mode and the push mode are virtually the same, with the difference being that the push mode has the canopy and the protective bar removed. Both these modes, you're buckling your child in and you're pushing them around. I can see on a marketing front that saying that this is two modes looks good on paper, but when you actually use it, these two modes don't really make that big of a difference. And I'm not even sure I'll be removing the canopy anytime soon, especially here in sunny Texas. The tricycle mode and the bike mode is when your child starts to actually be able to use the pedals and ride the track themselves. The difference between the two modes is that the bike mode actually removes the high resting bag and the parent control bar. Some might see this as two different modes, but once you allow your child to use the pedals themselves, the control bar is only there for safety, so that you can kind of pull them back in case anything happens. So in reality, the two modes aren't really that big of a difference. There is actually a little mechanism here that allows you to switch the control from the handlebars to the parent control bar. The last mode is the folded mode, which allows you to easily fold everything up and take it wherever you want. So that's why I say there's really only three modes, one where you're pushing the trike, one where your child uses the pedals to ride the trike, and the last one is the travel folded mode. We've taken the Duna Leaky trike on countless walks around the neighborhood, to the park, to the zoo, and even to a wildlife park. The trike might not seem like it, but you can definitely use it as a stroller. While it's not your conventional stroller, in the past 6 months not once did I think to myself that I wish I had a regular stroller instead. While the Leaky trike isn't as easy as the Duna car seat to fold and unfold, it's still pretty easy. I'm not going to lie though, I did have to read the manual to make sure I did everything properly. When the trike is in the folded mode, it's fairly straightforward on how to unfold it. First you click the seat rest into place, temporarily move the protective bar up, grab the handlebar area, and pull upwards until the trike clicks into place. Push the protective bar into place, making sure it's locked, pull the handlebars up. Adjust the canopy if you have it on. Slide the parent control bar in and lock it in with the pin. To fold the trike back, you pretty much do the exact same thing except in reverse. Pull out the locking pin and remove the parent control bar. Fold the canopy back. Press the button in between the handlebars to fold them down. Unlock the protective bar and move it to a vertical position. While using both sides of the button between the seat and the handlebars, use your other hand to pull the handle on the back of the trike upwards. Last, pull the yellow latch on the back of the backrest to fold it down. After you do this process a couple times, it'll just become second nature and you won't have to think much about it. This simple folding and unfolding process is what makes the Leaky Trike a possible stroller replacement, as it allows it to easily fit in your car trunk or even in the airplane's overhead bin. My son loves riding the trike versus a regular stroller. Most strollers have a slight tilt, which keeps the child leaning back, which isn't bad if your child is tired and wants to rest. However, if they want to take a look around the environment, the Leaky Trike is much better. Their view isn't blocked off from the sides when they're sitting upright, so they don't have to strain their necks to look around. The cup holder is conveniently placed in the front so that your child can reach for the water bottle themselves. At first, I was a bit impartial to the storage bag on the back as it was a bit small, but it does come in handy to hold things like snacks, the parent's water bottle, and even mail. One of the many things people look for in a stroller is how easy it is to maneuver. 
The first thing I noticed when I pushed the trike around was that it didn't feel quite as smooth as the Duna car seat stroller or the upper baby strollers. By no means is it hard or difficult to push, but it's just not that smooth glide you get with higher end strollers. In reality though, this only bothered me in the beginning as I don't even notice it anymore. I got used to it fairly quickly after using it for a walk or two around the neighborhood. My only real complaint is that the turnaround radius on the leaky trike is huge. You'll need a good amount of room if you want to do a U-turn, which makes it hard to use in tight spaces. The leaky trike is meant to be a tricycle, so the mechanics behind it are different from a conventional stroller. The parent control bar is basically controlling the front wheels, the same way handlebars on bikes control the front wheel. If you think about it, there aren't any bikes out there that can turn around on a dime like a stroller. This is because strollers are built differently and they use swivel wheels, which allow the turn radius to be much smaller. That's pretty much all the cons I personally found after using the trike for six months. Now that we've gone over what I like and don't like about the leaky trike, let's talk about the different variants they have. I briefly mentioned earlier that they have three models, the S3, S5, and Midnight. The S3 is their base model that goes for $250 and comes in red, gray, or blue. Performance wise, there aren't any differences between the base model and the two more expensive ones. The included accessories, accents, and colors is what changes. The S5 version bumps the price up to $300 and is available in green or black. The additional things you're getting are wooden handlebars, a travel bag, and a premium storage bag. The wooden handlebars replace the rubber grips that are on the S3. The premium storage bag is an upgrade over the regular storage bag you get with the S3. The difference is that the premium one has a leaky trike logo and is a zipper instead of a drawstring. Duna does allow you to purchase the premium storage bag for $20. The travel bag carries the leaky trike to keep it safe while you're traveling. It also has a nice holder for the parent control bar. You actually have the option to purchase this bag separately for $45. The newest tier to the leaky trike is the midnight one that costs $350. In this version, the seat and the backrest material is made of black faux leather with a diamond pattern stitching. The handlebars are also made of the same material, but without the pattern stitching. The other big difference is that the parent control bar is now black instead of silver that you get in the S3 and S5. The Midnight also comes with the premium storage bag and travel bag like the S5. Let me know down below in the comment section which color you're leaning towards. As for the reason why we chose the S5 Racing Green over the others was that we simply liked the color the best. The Midnight version actually wasn't available at the time I purchased the S5 Racing Green. Something about leather is always enticing, although I'm not quite sure I would have paid another $50 for that upgrade over the S5. The extra $50 from S3 to S5 made sense as the travel bag alone cost $45. While we haven't flown anywhere, it is nice to know that we have everything ready when we do decide to take a trip. If you take the travel bag price into consideration, we were really only paying $5 more for the color we wanted as well as the premium storage bag and the wooden handlebars. Speaking of the wooden handlebars, when I first took out the leaky trike, they had this weird rubber feeling on them that was almost sticky. I'm not quite sure what that was, but thankfully that feeling is now gone and they feel like regular wooden handles. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more content for new parents. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and I'll see you next time.